Hello everyone, this is Coach Lana checking in. I just wanted to share some interesting information that I read today. In Idea Fitness Journal, uh, 2011, March 2011, Exercise in the Brain by Jeffrey Klein, PhD. And it's about the brain. It was very interesting. Uh, it talked about how the brain is a very dynamic and it can respond to exercise that the lungs and the heart and the muscles do. The brain can actually add new neurons, new connections between neurons and add new blood vessels. They act, did MRI scans and it showed that exercise actually increased brain volume and the amount of gray and white matter. And I found that very fascinating that our brains can actually grow throughout our lifespan. An adult brain can continue to make new neurons throughout life. It happens mostly in the area called the hippocampus and this is an area um, that's concerned with forming and processing emotions. Exercise can increase the generation of these new neurons in this area throughout your entire life. So from being a small child all the way up to the elderly. And this, ex this may explain why aerobic exercise really enhances learning. And since stress decreases the formation of the neurons, which can lead to depression and anxiety, it kind of explains why people who exercise generally have decreased anxiety and depression. Exercise also increases the neurochemicals, which are called growth factors, and they help neurons grow and keep them healthy. And exercise also helps to treat and possibly prevent depression, anxiety, stroke, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. So if we think about that, this also makes sense. A sedentary life, lifestyle affects the brain by lessening your mental capacity. There is a clear connection between how much exercise children get and their cognitive performance. So the more exercise they get, the better they perform on verbal, perceptual, mathematical tests. This was also found in adults. This active lifestyle decreased age-related risks for cognitive imperative impairment and de dementia. So it's very, very fascinating that we have such control over our brain, the brain which controls our body. So the bottom line is we have this incredibly complicated body. It's a gift to be able to use it every day. We need to make sure that we're doing our best to take care of it. And we have a responsibility to ensure that those we love, those around us, do the same thing. So my thought for today really is, what are you doing today to boost your brain power? And what are you going to do to help those around you boost your brain power? Even if it's as, as little as a walk up and down the stairs, just do something because even the smallest amount of activity affects your brain. So, hey, use your brain and just think about it. This is Coach Lana, and I'm out.